looking at a little bit of choppy water up here early this evening at Big Creek Marina there up in northern Polk County. Yeah, there's plenty of wave action up that direction. You see the tree branches blown around as well. Latest check of winds here in the metro area. West and northwest 26 miles per hour. Last gust I saw was 37 miles per hour in the past hour. A little cooler air though that came in with that wind. Upper 70s for temperatures at this point in the evening. A lot of gusts in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range here across the state as we've gone through the late afternoon, early evening hours. Ames 37 mile per hour gusts most recent at 39 miles per hour down in Lamoni. Few showers pivoting around a pair low pressure center up there in Wisconsin too that are coming through north central and eastern Iowa. You notice they're very spotty, kind of isolated. Not not widespread fast moving too, so you're not going to get a lot of rain here out of these showers that move on by. Now this low, it's going to take about another day or so to really get away from us. So we don't have its influence anymore. We're at least missing out on the latest round of severe weather. This time it's over here in parts of Michigan. It's tornadoes down in Indiana earlier this afternoon. That'll eventually move out of here early this week. We'll be brought in a high pressure as we go through the next couple of days, but the winds still not going to go away here just yet. Now the showers will go away later on tonight. Once the sun goes down, those are pretty much done. Skies will be quieter here once we get past uh, uh, sundown and then through the overnight hours. I think a lot of us mostly clear a few clouds eastern half of Iowa. Winds still a little bit noticeable, still some breeziness through the overnight time frame. And then during the day tomorrow on Monday, similar weather to today. If you're in the eastern half of the day, you're going to have a sun cloud mix. You're going to have maybe a couple of spotty showers out there, probably east of a line. Let's say let's draw from Mason City down towards Iowa Falls, Eldora, Marshalltown, Grinnell. East of there, you maybe have a couple of showers. Most of the Des Moines Metro points west and south going to be dry, mostly sunny as well. Winds still noticeable out of the north and west. 15 to 20 miles per hour tomorrow. Sustained winds, maybe some gusts upwards around 30 miles per hour, that top line. So still noticeable, but maybe not quite as strong as today. Temperatures tomorrow will also go up a little bit. Instead of the 70s we had today, a little bit more of us will get up into the 80s once again, a little bit closer to normal to start the week. And then the temperatures will keep going upwards here as we go into the middle of the week. By Wednesday and Thursday, should be flirting with 90 degrees. Humidity returning means we should be up into the 90s for heat index values. Tonight, not so much. Down to the 60s with that noticeable wind still going. Wind still gusty tomorrow as well. Maybe a spotty sprinkle east in Iowa. Otherwise, partly sunny, breezy conditions with low 80s here around the Des Moines area. Storm chances this week then come along early Wednesday right now. We'll call the timing. Possibilities on Thursday too. probably best chance is going to be on Friday. A couple different systems here going to move through the region as we go through this week and in between kind of some hot, unsettled, humid air as we head towards the end of June.